the page you are seeing right now is the user interface of Amazon Bedrock. If you go to the AWS and click on the Bedrock, you will see this. We click on the knowledge base and then we start creating a knowledge base. We have some sort of data. These could be PDF, could be text files, Microsoft Word or anything. These are hosted somewhere. These files are either on the S3, which is the storage of AWS. These could be on the Salesforce, these could be on the SharePoint, or this could be even on your custom file. This could be local on your computer somewhere or hosted on Google Drive or anything. First of all, you choose your data source and you say, here are all of my data inside this data storage. After that, we need to embed this data, which means we need to vectorize this data, convert this text to some sort of vectors. Here we can choose our embedding models. And we have lots of embedding models here. Like we have Amazon Titan, which is an embedding model. We have Cohere, we have Cohere for English. We have Cohere for lots of languages, which means multilingual. So we choose an embedding model. We convert all of our text data to vectors. And after that, we can pick our chunking strategy as well. Like how I want to chunk my data. A default chunking, like 300 tokens, 500 tokens, a hierarchical, a semantic chunking, page by page, I can choose here. But then I go and chunk the data and embed the data with the embedding model I choose here. And then I need to save these vectors in a vector database. What vector database do I want? I can use Amazon Open Search which is a serverless vector database. I can go with PostgreSQL. I can go with GraphRack. Or again, I can choose any vector database that I have. These are the one AWS provided for us. So with just with one click, I can choose PostgreSQL or OpenSearch. And I can either choose my local vector storage. This is the retrieval part. Again, when we want to build a rack system, we need a knowledge base, which is probably a vector database. So we convert all of our data to vectors and store on the vector database, and that's it. Now, whenever we want to query our LLM, we attach the related information from KB to our request, and we say, hey, ChatGPT, I want you to answer this customer, but based on this related information that I already retrieved from my knowledge base. We are already done with the retrieval part, we set up our whole knowledge base with few clicks. Mm -hmm.